Hey, Golf Pass, I'm Rodney Green, PGA Director of Golf at the Country Club at Woodmore in Mitchellville, Maryland. I want to talk a little bit about when you're hitting your irons, and actually for most swings, but irons specifically, where the shaft needs to be on your downswing. One of the biggest challenges that I see for a lot of my students is as the golf club starts to transition down, it gets a little bit what I call steep. And so from a down the line view, what I would consider steep is, is when the golf club gets to the top of your backswing, the first move typically will start this way. And when the golf club starts this way and the shaft gets a little steep, it's almost the only place this club can go is kind of down and around you to the left. And everybody knows that when you do that and that face is open, there's your dreaded slice. So in order to fix that, you want to try to get the shaft a little more shallow. But I will also tell you this, if you were to be able to look online and look at any golf professionals, most tour professionals, and that's how I learn too, is I watch what they do. And you'll find it doesn't matter which one you look at, when that golf club starts to transition down, you're going to see that shaft is going to dissect somewhere between the shoulder and the elbow. Now, you know, guys like, I'm sure the, and there's exceptions to every rule. I mean, Sergio even gets a little bit flatter in here like that. But what I will tell you is that very rarely, if any, are you going to see anybody out on tour that when that golf club starts down, is it up here? And as a matter of fact, when you think about even Jim Furyk, who has kind of a, a different kind of move, but I can tell you this, Jim Furyk's move has a, starts up like this, and then it drops back down on the inside. And, and I'd venture to say, if Jim Furyk's golf swing went like this and like that, eh, there might not be a Jim Furyk on the tour. There'd be a Jim Furyk, but he might not be playing on the tour. So I will tell you that you will find that most golf swings that you see work this way, down on the inside, and then out away like this. So if you, if you feel that, and I use just a little training aid like this to help feel that golf club moving down on the inside and then out away from me just a little bit like that. And sometimes I'll even take a weighted club with my students and have them just swing this because like I said, a lot of the drills that I show are without golf balls because when I put that golf ball down in front of you, Lord knows, you, all you're thinking about is hitting the golf ball. So learn how to make a lot of swings without the golf ball to kind of train your muscles. So once you feel that golf club moving down on the inside and going out, then just drop a ball in. Same feeling. Turn it over just a little bit, but again, and if you see this divot, you can look at this divot right here. This divot isn't going that way. That divot's moving a little bit more on the inside and out like that. So again, work on getting that shaft in the proper position on the way down, and you're going to hit better iron shots. And so for that and many more exclusive tips, go to Golf Pass.